Happy Halloween. Not quite almost, but we're doing, we're circling back around. We haven't done this tradition since. Last Halloween. Yes. Why would we? Well, we wouldn't have, but this is pretty exciting. We, you know, it's one of our traditions. You know, back, it's back. It's one of those things that really makes us unique. It's annual. And back then the Jude was just a wee kitten. Where is he now? We got a Magaru. You weren't here last year. You're about to learn about pumpkins. And you certainly weren't here last year. Babylon got a... A really cool one. I'm really excited about this pumpkin. And I've got traditional oh, round. Boring. I like the round ones because you can carve face on them really easy. And we're watching a nice spooky movie. We really have come a long way in a year. I don't, the, I don't appreciate the point you're trying to make. Avalon has apparently discovered bean sprouts in her pumpkin. Yeah, they they are. They're, the seeds uh, are sprouting. I don't want. I want. Oh, don't mix your garbage. This pumpkin. is the coolest pumpkin ever. Uh, I don't want your seeds. Look how orange it is. I don't want your seeds. Look inside of it. Ugh. Wait, why are they eating pumpkins? That's not good for them. They have pumpkins. Pick that up. You don't know that. And a happy Halloween from the Halloween that almost wasn't. Me and Avalon uncharacteristically put very little effort into our costumes this year, and perhaps even more notably, very little money. But Avalon pulled off a kick-ass Mary Poppins, might I say, a kind of sexy Mary Poppins, makes me feel kind of weird. Over here, some, ow, some impromptu crafting, and we've got uh, Bill the Bastard's ukulele, complete with dead parrot. Fun fact, the head of that is Avalon's Mary Poppins umbrella. Sustainable. Even better, we found secret alcohol in our house that we didn't know was there. And, perhaps even more importantly, secret, secret energy. Oh, I'm so close to making that. Redo, take 10. Now we just gotta kitchen proof the kitchen for dog proof the kitchen for Lily. And Maggie, I know you're dressed for the Halloween party, but you can't go. <laughs> Well, tomorrow is my first ever dog parade that I am participating in. I couldn't be more excited. I'm gonna try on Maggie's costume. No, it's not to eat, it's to play. Oh, you're gonna hate it. What a good girl. Oh my God. Yes. Good girl. Good girl, Maggie. Well, here we go to the dog parade. This is a very special day. Be careful, this is a crosswalk. Nag, nag, nag. This is the part where I nag you about bad driving. I have waited a long time to walk in a dog How parade. How long? All my life. Not true. And Maggie is excited, even though she hates her costume. What's her costume? Monster. Carrot monster. So she's coming to the dog parade. Avalon just got back from a business lunch, so she's a little business lunchy. Yeah, I'm feeling strictly business. <laughs> and we're all going to the parade, except Lily. Well, it's raining. Maggie. Oh, oh. oh you can't shake it off. Okay, come on, Maggie. Come on, Maggie. Come on. Oh, girl. Come on. If it, if it stays on. Oh, there it goes. She may not be able to keep her costume on, but she is in the dog parade. Maggie, it's not a race this time. Anything can happen on Halloween. Your dog could turn into a cat. There may be a toad in your bass guitar Or your sister could turn into a bat Christmas time brings the snow Summertime brings the sun But on Halloween your blood begins to run You did very good. Yay! 
Oh, that is a good one. That's okay, Maggie. Next year. Next year. No, don't eat whatever's in there. Well, and so ends our first dog parade. How was it for you, Maggie? Hey, take a seat, you. All right, how about one more time with feeling? Okay. Maggie, sit. There we go.